So I'm here in the Sierra Madre, you know, and some of you might have heard of the plant called Ocotillo before. You get it in the Southwest, mostly Arizona, California, West Texas. That's the genus Fulcaria. This is a relative of it. This is a uh, Fulcaria fasciculata. Same genus, different species, different suite of adaptations to a different environment. There's the bark. Look at that bark. Got these bulbous sarcocalescent trunks, these, these stems that swell, their storage mechanisms. Whole thing's covered in multiple different species of Tillandsia. You can see up there, Bromeliad family, Bromeliaceae. You can see it's getting about 20 feet tall right there. We're at, a, we're at an elevation of roughly 4,200 feet in the Sierra Madre in beautiful Hidalgo State, Mexico. Look at this. How old are you, man? How old are you, huh? There's the flowers right there, implying moth pollination, especially with those prominently exerted anthers. You can see right there. They're not producing a smell right now, but a lot of moth pollinated flowers don't don't start producing uh, scent until dusk anyway. And there's those leaves doing the same thing that the uh, Fulcuria splintens Ocotillo does. It's turning its petioles into spines, but in this case, the petioles actually come off the leaves like a sheath. There's about 10 species in the genus Fulcuria. And it's the only genus in its family, Fucuriaceae. The family is in the order of blueberries, Ericales. Look at that thing. That These trunks are just fucking... Oh, what an honor. I'm just going to step around the pile of fallen Tillandsia on the ground right here. Just get a better look at you. Look at that. How old. Variations on a theme. This is why studying biology and botany specifically are so cool. You see different variations on a theme. A genus or a family you already know, but a few million years separated from it evolutionarily. And a few thousand miles biogeographically. Fulcaria fasciculata. You think this one's weird? Check out Fulcaria purpusei in Oaxaca. It's another one of these damn Dr. Seussian bottle trees. These bottle Fuchs. Look, here's a here's a baby one just wedged into the crack of a rock on this wash. The current's just been blasting them. Whenever it rains 16 to 20 inches annually in this area. 16 to 20 inches, and then it all gets channeled because of the steepness of the terrain into this little wash. First a little dry capsule, the winged seeds disperse, and then you know, you get new fuchs popping up all over the canyon. Really interesting habitat here. Got pecans growing just down the road. That's all I got. Go fuck yourself. Bye.